Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening uh, to you all. As founding patron of Grief Encounter, I extend a very warm welcome to this prestigious roundhouse and our third gala dinner. It is my job this evening to speak to you about this incredible charity and the journey that it has taken. From its humble beginnings in 2004, when Grief Encounter launched with a practical workbook, to the present day range of services. Please allow me to begin with the image you now see around the room. It is the last picture ever taken of two 10-year-old girls. This photograph was taken on Sunday the 4th of August, 2002, and is of my daughter Holly, who stands on the left, and her friend Jessica. At this very moment, both girls have less than 90 minutes of their lives remaining. This picture became the recognisable image across the country as the Soa murders became the national focus. This picture also represents the very moment when the uninvited intrusion of grief and its associated complex emotional difficulties nestled into our lives. Away from the media and the banner headlines, two families were left desperately coming to terms with such a catastrophic loss and impact to those closest to them. Jessica's family actually originated from North London, choosing to relocate to the Fens of Cambridgeshire for a safer environment to bring up their three girls. This rather bitter irony still leaves a hollow void. So, from my perspective, what do you say to your 12-year-old surviving son when a loving, happy family of four suddenly becomes a family of three? My wife and I realised it was critical to protect, guide and embrace Oliver, but did we have the tools to achieve our ambitions? In short, we were as confused and broken as our son. There is absolutely no hiding place from grief and the crippling effect it holds over you. In 2004, Shelley Gilbert wrote to my family to ask if we felt we could in some small way support the launch of a close to home project called Grief Encounter. The project would highlight a practical way to deal with the complex grieving process of children. A sample of the book was enclosed and suddenly in front of me and my wife in black and white was the kind of structure, ideas and practical help that we both knew would make a massive impact on grieving families. That initial correspondence and subsequent charity launch came later that year and gosh what process and what progress has taken place over that last 15 years for Grief Encounter. I can proudly tell you that in the last decade and a half, Grief Encounter has helped many thousands of families in their darkest moments. This momentous achievement has not only come to fruition, but bears testimony to Shelley Gilbert's dream and mission to help as many bereaved children as possible. Shelley, your drive and ambition to help others is clear for all of us to see, and there can be no greater legacy than this for you and your family. Here at Grief Encounter, every family we support now has two years of free access to our one-to-one -one counselling, our grief workshops, Remembrance Days, Art and Drama Therapy, Family Fun Days and Residential Retreats. Our 92 therapists deliver 6,388 annual hours of one-to-one, -one, whilst our clinical team run five, eight, I beg your pardon, Family Day workshops each year. This reaches out to over 300 families with over 1,000 registered first callers annually, 
and almost 2,000 annual communications, you will see, ladies and gentlemen, that the need for our services remains key and paramount. These numbers will swell beyond all recognition when our new national helpline launches later this month. At Brief Encounter, we remain proud also of the sensitive and challenging work our specialist trauma teams undertake and the difference that they are making to young lives. Critical incident support has been offered to many schools and also in more recent times to 500 individuals in the community so affected by the terrible Grenfell Tower fire. We continue to harbour ambitious plans to extend our range of services. Our own high standards of not being able to turn anyone away whilst maintaining continuing a speedy, responsive service, it remains challenged by the increasing demand for all of our services. It is a difficult marker of our success, yet at the same time highlights what aspirations Brief Encounter still harbours. Alongside the launch of the National Helpline, we are expanding our services in order to interact better with the teenage market. It remains one of the most difficult age groups to try and impact, nurture and educate. My wife and I saw this firsthand with our own teenage son, Oliver. The misplaced resistance to allow help and support to be part of your life, often shown by teenagers, makes the role of therapists very challenging. I could also stand before you and vouch for the success of counselling and the difference this type of help and guidance can make to the child and the remaining family. My son Ollie is now a young man, 29 years of age, two gorgeous boys of his own, Harry and Ethan. Ollie has come through some very difficult times, including another terrible family bereavement in 2012 when my young nephew Thomas lost his life on Christmas Day. There is no doubt that the beginning of Oliver's personal journey in 2002 and the difference that counselling and emotional education have made to him and his future, and it's paramount to the easygoing, caring, generous and hard-working young man that he has now become. At Grief Encounter, our annual cost for providing this range of services has now tipped over £1 million for the first time. Absolutely staggering. Your support tonight for Grief Encounter is welcomed and appreciated at each and every level. Rest assured that our ethos to making a difference to all families in their hour of need ensures your donations will not be wasted. With your support, Brief Encounter can indeed reach the thousands more who need our services. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time and of course for listening. I will now ask you to turn your attention to the screens around the room for a special video message from Grief Encounter patron, Catherine Jenkins. Thank you. Thank you.